I really wonder how much Mercedes dealership would charge for this. They probably say, "Oh, oh no! This this car, this car is too uh, too old. We don't work on this car." Yeah, so stupid, right? Like, dude, like these cars are so simple to work on. Like, you know, and you're gonna be complaining that your little technician can't work on this car. Get the hell out of here! All right, I had a little bit of time to start working on this car again. And as you all know, the rear doors are shut, stuck shut. So it was a pain, but unfortunately I had to kind of pull out this uh, assembly. It's actually really interesting because on 123s it's made out of like, you know, rubber and fabric. This one is like almost like, like metal. Yeah, it's so hard. But anyways, I'm just carefully like removing this panel. I mean, I'm going to have to glue this back either way. It is what it is, but it's going to be fine. The, the panel is going to survive. Okay. Now I can get access to all of this. Look what I'm seeing. I don't know if I actually took this off. It was taken off already. I can't remember. Let's see. No, yeah, I did take it off. Yeah, because I was working on it. But anyways, now as you can see, I got access to this and I'm going to be messing around with that. Trying to get this to come off or open the door. Yeah, it's been bothering me. i got to open this. i uh, got to work on this amazing machine here. So this has been a huge pain. And I tried everything. Like, I tried moving all kinds of linkages, like different types of methods. I cannot get this door to open. I just started kind of destroying this door striker right here. I'm going to pull all this rubber out. Maybe I can get more access to something there. I don't know. But just doing whatever I can now. Of course, I'm never giving up on it. <laughs> So the problem that we have is that this guy right here, this piece, it does not go down. I tried doing everything, like it moves a little bit, but it doesn't go like spring down at all. So, I mean, also what you can do is try to pry down on it. I'm gonna try to do that. Maybe I can open this door somehow because this is, this is insane really don't know can't tell what's going on inside of that lock assembly so i was able to move the door out this way a little by prying down like this but now what i'm focusing on mainly is just peeling that rubber out which i'm almost done just peeling that rubber out of the striker you see the door is almost open just a little bit more left to deal with this well, congratulations. Oh my God. <sighs> Man. Yeah, poor door panel. That's okay, I'll revive the door panel. But man, right here, middle finger. So th th this is the problem. Like th this part will not move like at all just won't move as you can see i had to just kind of rip everything out right here not gonna lie it was the biggest pain i've ever experienced this is insane this is crazy guys and uh you can tell it's been uh like this for a long time it's so hard to move this door On the inside, you just have to find where this part is. I really don't know what's going on here, but I'm probably gonna have to take this whole thing out to see what's going on. Something isn't right here. Uh, either somebody maybe installed something like the wrong door strike, I don't understand. I need to find a cause why it's like that. It's like lack of lubrication what's, or what, like, you know what I mean? So. Let's see if I can push the rest of this garbage. Or is it just seized? Maybe the problem is that this striker just got seized on or something. I don't... You see, so the, the front door... Okay, that's what the striker looks like. 
right here. So it could be that it just got seized on. Maybe not using the doors or whatever, but wow. This is so weird. It's crazy. All right, so I found the cause why these doors were stuck shut and I couldn't open them from inside or outside. Look at this rust inside of the striker. This was sitting like that. That's why you couldn't open the doors. And uh, when we go like this, so I'll try to show you one handed, but say so try to open the door. This one, this, uh, so when I press this button, you can see that this one moves just fine. This piece, you see that? There's nothing wrong with that. The problem was with this rusting together. This is insane. This is why you have to use your rear doors. You have to do all the maintenance and lubrication to these doors. That is nuts. Look at all this craziness. So it's funny, the old door striker is still there, but look. <laughs> look at this. It works. That's crazy, man. I need a new door seal too. Oh, finally. Then I'll have to do one more door, the right rear door, because it's also stuck shut. This is why you don't neglect your rear doors. So before you start removing the door panel and everything, if your doors are stuck shut, Try to get to the door striker and try to actually spray uh, PB blaster in there, you know, and let it soak and then try to actually like, you know, make sure that the handle is up, right? Uh, not the handle, but the, the knob, the lock knob is up. And then while you're pressing or while you're tugging on this right here on the inner door handle, or if someone, someone else could be pressing this button right here, then one of you guys can start pushing the door out you know and hopefully you get lucky and you actually get you know the door open uh so i didn't realize i actually thought that something else is wrong with this mechanism you know that's why i went that way but still you know even if i didn't remove the door panel it would have been like such a pain to deal with that so but everything else is good nothing else is damaged actually this lock is all good it's like all working and everything it's just from a lack of use of rear doors that's what happens you know uh, so another thing you can do is put uh, lubricant right here, put like grease here and then right here too, like put like anything. There's never too much lubrication. You all know that. So right now, this door is just going to be as is. I'm going to get to the other side and deal with the other side. So hopefully I don't have to do anything on that side. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just uh, get to that door lock striker itself um, because... Yep, I gotta get this thing fixed. So we're gonna spray PB Blaster right inside of the door lock striker. It's okay, some of it is gonna spill out, it doesn't matter. Just gotta get that thing soaked, you know? It's the problem. Literally lack of ease of these rear doors. So, been trying to move this up. This handle doesn't want to move. Uh, so I'm going to just start ripping this uh, rubber out of here, out of the striker. So I can see, get a better view before I start doing anything else. You know, I really don't want to take this door panel off either. So I'll try to find another way. I'm just going to deal with this rubber right here for now. So it seems like... I freed this thing up because it moves now back and forth like this rubber and the metal insert inside I can see that it actually moves so it's not stuck anymore onto the striker okay so might be able to open it soon but it's just really strange how this is acting it's almost like it's all dry in there or something so um, yeah I'm gonna have to keep brainstorming We'll see. All right, so I got this guy out, looks like. But the thing is that we could have a different problem with this door than the other one. But it seems like it's gonna come out. What a pain. 
pain. Yeah, this requires lots of patience for sure. So here it is. And this one's actually fine. It's not really rusty. Okay, so at least we freed this up now. I'm gonna try to see how I can get this done. I think this door has a different problem. There's something inside that's just seized. Yeah. So it's totally different problem than that door. Okay, so I had to go a step forward and remove one of the top pieces. I'm gonna be really careful. I'm gonna try to see if I can spray something in there because this looks really dry. So I'm gonna spray the PV blaster in there. Yes, it's so weird. Uh, two doors, but they all have, they both have different issues of why they're not opening. The other side got seized like right here. This side got seized like where the mechanism is. That's why it's important to lubricate everything when you have the door panels out. Don't be lazy. So what's happening is when you try to push this down like this rod, like it doesn't really move. Only barely. This one, which goes down right here, barely moves. But that is because uh, this knob, uh, you know, it's not moving. So this mechanism let's see if i can show you this guy right here the silver one is the one that's supposed to go down when you move it but it can't go down because that other gold piece right here is in the way as you can see so when i activate the handle let's see so it just it can't go down so I have to, I'm gonna take this rod off. I'm gonna try to move it manually. So we'll see what happens. I don't wanna tear this thing open any more than needed. Okay, so I had to take it off from this side right here. That's for the lock unlock. And when I try to move it, it's just super stiff. It just doesn't wanna go at all. So I'm gonna, Figure some stuff out, let it soak a little more. Yeah, this job requires patience. <laughs> really wonder how much Mercedes dealership would charge for this. They probably say, "Oh, oh no, this this car, this car is too uh, too old. We don't work on this car." Yeah, so stupid, right? Like, dude, like these cars are so simple to work on, like you know. And you're gonna be complaining that you're little technician can't work on this car get the hell out of here okay so here's what i ended up doing see that piece all the way there i kind of like bent it out of the way and then um hopefully now it works <laughs> i mean it's not the right way but i do not know why this other mechanism is just not moving it could be deep inside the door that's just seized but now Basically, if we, this is moved down, this mechanism, when you move it down, this is unlocked position. So, if I, let's see, cross your fingers, place your bets in the comments now, what's gonna happen? Oh no, that's crazy. Look at that. We got the door open finally. Crazy, isn't it? Wow, all that work. All right, door panel is off now. I'll be taking this guy out, disconnected the rods. I need to take it out, inspect it. So crazy, so easy to take this thing off. I can't believe it. Wow. So yeah, this is the one that I had to bend. But now I gotta figure out what's going on this thing yeah this thing is definitely seized oh yeah it, 
there. I could not get my lubricant in here. Wow. So I think the problem is with this piece because it doesn't move, this metal one. So I'm gonna be soaking it. That's why I had to bend this piece up. I can bend it back. That's fine. That is some crazy stuff, but yeah, remember, lubricate everything. Door locks, not just the window regulars, everything, literally. Use automatic trans fluid on the places you can't get to, okay? So these are kind of moving, but they're not really moving. And they should, I'm assuming they should spring load back. It's not. All right, so this part, the middle part, finally started moving. As you can see, it's still not the best. I'll be soaking it more in PB Blaster and ATF. But yeah, it started moving. And because of this part, this door was stuck shut. So now, I'm going to go back to this. You remember this part? So keep watch this guy. See that? Now it's moving. Right, we freed it up, but I'm still gonna uh, soak it some more. This part. But it's moving now. So what's interesting is uh, after soaking this bad boy, everything, look at this. Everything moves back, comes back, and all that. I mean, it's it's a totally different car. Or, I mean, not car, but, yeah. The lock and everything. So, yeah, super happy with this. Everything is moving amazing. I can't really show you with one hand, but, yeah, the main thing is that this middle portion, this middle pivot point was just rusted. It was corroded in. After soaking it for several days, it came back to life. All right, I soaked it some more. Okay, and we're gonna reinstall it on this car. It's so easy to install it. It's insane. Literally just four bolts. And you don't have to get in through the inside of the door panel. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Added some fluid film to this area so it doesn't keep corroding and also there. And now we can carefully go ahead and reinstall our bad boy. It's pretty simple actually, it just slides in there. Okay, the door lock assembly is installed. Now I'm not gonna fully install this rod just yet. Okay, but we're gonna pretend the door is closed. Like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep just wanted to show you, but I don't know if I can keep this rod in there. It's slipping but anyways let me try something here okay see this I'm about to open the door and look at that it opens up yeah this rod will be installed later but now let's close this look at that obviously my door lock the striker assembly needs to be replaced because <laughs> I destroyed it, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, that's it. Lack of lubrication caused these doors to be stuck shut. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. It's actually, it was really interesting one. If you have the same problem, you know, suspect something wrong with inside of one of these door lock mechanisms, but also it could be a stuck, uh, door striker you know or just rust it in or whatever so there are a couple of things you can do and just you know that's the, basically i just wanted to show you this video because it's actually really really interesting that's how i got this car and both rear doors were stuck shut and the previous owner couldn't do anything they just gave up on the car so yep and i'm just gonna take care of this right now you know get it cleaned up and reinstall it back there's nothing wrong with it, it just needs lubrication